Uh, hi everyone. Uh, let me know once so uh, screen is visible. Your screen is visible. Okay. So today I'm gonna be talking about AI driven invoice processing for finance. So basically I saw everybody here is into practice, but I have been more onto the industry side and I'll be representing the pain points from there. So I was just having a conversation with my colleague. Uh, she was into AP team. So I asked her like, uh, what happened? What's going on? So she told me that, you know, this is the main pain point for me. Uh, we were just having a conversation. So she told me that, you know, uh, there are about 200 to 500 invoices coming in every month. And we have to manually input each and everything into an Excel file to maintain a tracker and make payments on time. So uh, this was really a headache. And other than that, when uh, they try to process the payments using that tracker, there would be uh, duplicate entries or maybe a mismatch between invoice and the Excel tracker or something like that. Or there could be a lot of manual errors. So she told me that even after, you know, maintaining the Excel file, I have to go back to the invoice while making the payment. And this is creating a lot of duplication of work. So that's when I actually thought that what can we do about this? So what I have done is I've uh, given a prompt to ChatGPT and Claude uh, to give me a you know solution to this. So I got a solution in the form of Python script. So what I do is I've built a Python script which will use Tesseract OCR, which is which is a OCR tool. So what it will do is, uh, let's say there's an invoice. It will pick out the details from that invoice and uh, give it to you in a neat labeled Excel file. So that's it. Uh, I'll show you what I've prepared. So this is the Python script and I have saved the invoices here uh, in this folder. Also, I have saved the POs over here in this folder. So I'll just run this. So I have the serial numbers labeled here, the invoice numbers here, the invoice date, the due date, the vendor name. So this vendor check is something which is, I have built a vendor master. And so what it will do is basically if the name, this name is matching with the vendor or ch vendor master, it will give me a right. And if it if not, it will give me a cross mark. Then I have the phone number, the subtotal, the tax, the shipping, the total amount, the currency, the bank name, account number, routing number, and this is the PO check. So what this does is it will check the total amount from here with the one in the PO. And if I add, I just have one more invoice to show you. If I just add one invoice here and uh, I just rerun the code. Gave me a sixth invoice here as well. Since this is a new invoice, uh, it's not there in the vendor master. It will flag you to check, you know, if this is an actual invoice or it's a fake invoice. Because recently, uh, we've been getting, uh, I've recently read a news in which, you know, Meta and uh, Google, I think, uh, they paid uh, huge amounts to fake invoices. So that's the reason I've built a vendor check. And if you see, in the end, there is no PO check because the PO for this particular invoice is not there in the PO folder. So yeah, that's how this works. Uh, this is my solution to it. Uh, so OCR technology, I mean, there are different lot of different tools for this. Uh, I have implemented one similar tool in my organization previously where I was working. 
but then i thought that you know if i could create a you know little cost friendly solution for this i tried creating this uh so yeah it will improve your efficiency accuracy and data accessibility and you just have to click a button and the python script will run and as and when you get a new invoice you can just save it into the invoice folder and python will run and you will get a new uh, set of entries for yourself so i mean this might not yet be perfect but yeah i can work on it a lot of uh, some more things and you can actually format it in the way you want and also for this i have used cloud not chat gpt because cloud has better uh, coding skills than chat gpt and i had to you know give uh, multiple 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 attempts to get this script up and running so yeah that's it from my side short and sweet absolutely short and sweet so you are within time so 6 minutes and you have closed your presentation so i'll have another 2 3 minutes to ask your question so one with respect to the ocr technology you spoke what is the cost or is it uh, free open source and it is free yeah it is open source i have downloaded from github great and uh, so if you can just elaborate a little more about uh, you would you i i presume you have done a reconciliation or a mapping of PO vis a vis the invoice, right? So extracting mm. the code, ext one you have done that you have extracted the data from the invoices, basis the labels, correct? Mm. The invoice number versus invoice number, that kind of stuff. No, no, it's not invoice number versus invoice number. Uh, it's actually uh, it will like it will open the invoice or okay. it will open the PO and then it will scan because uh, you know for invoice number to match exactly there might be some mismatch as well. So that's the reason I have kept it like you have to, uh, so the script will open the invoice and open all the POs and then match them against the vendor names. Okay, okay, okay. So it will be on the basis of vendor names. So if I have a vendor, uh. PO and there's an mm. invoice, it will not flag the invoice, correct? Or oh, not flag the invoice. I'm I mean, uh, so apart from the name of the vendor, is it also doing some validation with respect to the quantity or the price or? So it's not doing uh, with respect to quantity, but it will match the total amounts, like the total amount, the final total amount in the PO and the final total amount in the invoice. Okay. So the invoice amount has to be lower or equal to the PO amount? No, it has to be equal. If no. not, then it will give me a cross. Even if there are part, so it's a, it's a big PO and several invoices are being raised, still it will, fly, in your case, it will flag the transaction. Mm, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 